Hey guys, and welcome back to more Adventures in the Wasteland, and guess what? It happened! It finally happened! It's real! It's, it's, it's no mistake! Look at this! Look at this! I actually got Cloak and Dagger! I finally maxed out my affinity with Deacon. Now, the ridiculous part was, it wasn't through the missions I was doing with the freaking, um underground you know the railroad now they did help a little like I noticed that like letting uh, taking a shot for Tinker Tom helped um, sometimes if you'd accept a quest he he would like it a little bit believe it or not just helping anybody it seems like because I, I accepted a mission okay. for these fools um, only because I was tired all the missions for the breath for the um sorry the railroad were getting kind of the same and I was tired of doing them so I'm like you know what I just decided to do this one it's a kill super mutants and Wilson so you, you're you're helping these guys out he just likes the fact that you're helping. So pick locks, hack terminals. He doesn't always like it every time you do it, but he doesn't dislike it. So sometimes he'll like it, and that'll help. So pick terminal, you know, pick pick locks, hack terminals, and help people. And that's probably the best advice I can give you for this this kind of nonsense. But um, and it's like it's it's ridiculous. But now that I've finally got this perk, I'm going to show you guys the benefits of them now. As, it, as you can as you can see, I've, I've spent some of my uh, levels since the last time you've seen me play. Um, I got Mr. Sandman level 3 all the way up, so I used all my points there. I upped my sneak a bit so that I can actually stay hidden for longer. A lot of good stuff, you know, but um, those are the two major ones. I think I went to Gunnut rank, rank 3, which was definitely useful, starting to be useful. But um show you two things. One, the, bon the benefits of actually um, using this. Because uh, this thing is now extremely dangerous. The only thing more dangerous than this gun is now this gun. Yes, I have found a Gauss rifle. Oh my goodness. Now, I've upgraded it some, but I haven't maxed it out yet. But this thing is already devastating. Now, there's one set of enemies that I know where they are. And they're always there. And I can show you how much has changed since getting his perk. And, um getting the uh the silent the uh, mr sandman perk now we're going to load a, a level we're, this one I, I saved up here this is actually an old save you notice how this is my current save and i've got two days and 17 hours of the gameplay this one's two this is 10 hours earlier this is before i spent those levels and this i still want that gun but i have no clue how the hell to get it at all i've never even i don't even nobody on the internet's found it either so but i want that gun i really want that gun I just have this gut feeling it's going to be awesome. Alrighty, so we're going to go. This is the spot on the map where I always know there's going to be two tough enemies. And I think they even come back over time, so you don't have to worry. This this Nordhagen Beach. There's two uh, Meyer, Meyer Lurk Hunters out there. Not the strongest enemy in the world, but they're a good, tough enemy that can really kill you if you're not if you're a character like me. You know, uh, my character's not exactly super tough. And they're not exactly easy to kill with one shot. Now we're here, and this is, I still got the uh, never ending sniper rifle, but that's the only gun I got right now. I still got the freaking fat man. Now to give you an idea of how tough these guys are, I'm going to save right here because this is going to take a few tries to get right. First I'm going to see if I can kill them with the fat man because I don't remember whether they're, they're, the fat man's strong enough to kill them or not. See if I can even hit them. Is that... Did I get him? No, nope, not even far enough. Close, though. I mean, semi-close. I think that's right. Did I get him? Nope! Didn't kill him. So that gives you... That lets you know. Let's see how much damage I did. I'm gonna wait. I took most of his life. But as you can see, a mini-nuke does not kill this thing with one shot. Takes two. A little bit more than two. I mean, you know, a little bit more than one. Just... No, not bad though, not bad. And to give you an idea, my fat man's attack damage is 535. We, you know, I have no skills in explosives or anything. My, uh, where was it? Uh, there's a skill for this. I think it's under perception. Yeah, it says demolitions expert. It says 25% more damage with explosions, 50%, 75%, and then double damage. So if I was going to be working with this gun, this, that's the, this, the perk tree you'd want to do. But it, it's too limited. You can only fight with it outdoors, so it's not necessarily always what I want to do. I might use it later, but like right now, it's not, not a thing. So we're going to reload that same area, and I'm going to show you what the rifle does. 
Now my 50 cal rifle is pretty darn strong. It's not no, it's no mini nuke, but it's it's still pretty darn strong, and it's a lot more functional. Now I'm gonna wait until he turns around and hit him right in the jaw with it. So it's as much damage as you're gonna get. These things don't exactly have a head, but you gotta hit him in the crawl, kinda. And wait for him to turn around. He's gonna look at me. I heard something. Yeah, I did three times the damage because I have um, the ninja perk, which is even boosting the damage of this gun even further because I've sneak critical to him. And we're waiting for him to get out of the water. You saw that. Barely 25% of his life. And he knows where I am now because my sneak skill is not that good. Now, if I don't want to die something like that okay there we go but you saw maybe 25 percent of his life his full life and uh let me go shoot his friend just so that we can confirm this he's i think is a little bit stronger or it's because he's a little bit further away and here he comes you saw that it did barely i don't even think it did as much damage as the first one yeah and then we get this other gun out yeah, he's probably gonna kill me. Yeah, oh, that was close. Don't like letting it get that close. Alrighty. Now, I'm gonna show you what these perks have all added to my character. This is what my character's like now. Now, the greatest thing is, uh, not only do I did I get damage to. Um, sneak attacks with hit with Deacon's perk. I also have uh, silence bonuses. The Mr. Sandman perk specifically boosts silenced weapons. So it's not just every rifle, it's only silenced weapons. So handguns, spray and pray is included in that, which I'm not sure if you guys know I got the spray and pray. I, should, I have another video up of me using it early, kind of when I first got it. Not exactly when I first got it, but close to when I first got it. And now we're going to get into the same position and we're going to save over the old one. To see the effectiveness of this gun now. And check this out. He's gonna come. It didn't kill him, but watch how much. Look at that. Half his life. And the best part of this is this is the best part. Because my sneak has improved drastically over what it was, he still doesn't know I'm here. So I got another shot for the same damage. So I can kill these guys now in two shots if they don't see it coming. This guy takes slightly more than that because he's farther away. So it's three shots. But he was near dead after the first two. Now, even better. As good as that is, because this gun is now quite good. It gets more effective at close range. So we're going to reload the same save again and watch this. This is the kicker. I didn't know this, but this definitely seems like the weapon's scale at range. So we're going to go across. We're going to go across the beach. And now that my character is much better at sneaking, this is a lot more feasible. It could be why those time periods I was using the uh, combat rifle, while there were sometimes there was targets I could kill with the combat rifle that I couldn't kill with this rifle. And I think it's mainly because I was getting closer with the combat rifle because of its rate of, rate of fire allowed me to be a little braver. I, did, I didn't worry about if I missed this shot, I'm fucking toast. Watch this. Now they're within kind of scary distance from me right now. But watch this. Oh, he's going to go and hide behind a bush. Well, I'll work on your... F I'll wait. Okay, turn around. One shot. And then his friend here. One shot. Not bad at all, right? Now, even better better this is this is this is the betterness even better than that as good as that was this is even better than that a Gauss rifle if my character decides to pull it out there we go I love that the counter on the back that shows the, the rate of charge Easy, tiger. Not everything needs to be shot up. this does oops I missed It's easy to miss with this gun now. 
Yeah, I'll hold on. That wasn't a good shot. I'm going to try that one more time. Because he heard me, so of course I didn't get the full sneak damage. And this gun isn't silenced yet. So this gun will be stronger when I put a silencer on it. Which is kind of ridiculous, but it does have the option for a silencer. Come on, girl. Pull it. There we go. You do have to let your shot charge all the way, though. Wild west of you. Don't get in the way, Deacon, please. Done. One shot. One shot. This gun is absolutely scary. And that's at range. This was the range that my 50 cal rifle was doing half of its usual damage. So that's pretty crazy. Now, the only other thing I've been dealing with, it's kind of a tough decision, but I think I've come to the conclusion I want. I'm trying, I'm getting ready to retire a gun. I was thinking of retiring the spray and pray. I'm, it was seriously heavily considering retiring this gun because even though this gun is pretty damn awesome with its explosives rounds and its quietness, um, this gun is something I just got. This one has 25% um, faster rate of fire with a 15% faster reload, which sounds pretty devastating, and it is pretty devastating, but like these guys are my test subjects, and it seems as though against them, I'm going to get one of them over here. Also because it's not silenced and it's impossible to silence it. it. They both hear me instantly. And the reloading rate is, is kind of what makes... You saw how kind of close that was. How that was kind of uncomfortably close dealing with them with this gun. Still a good gun. Kind of scary. Now... Same situation, different gun. And it's probably because this gun has AoE effects. Seems we have a tail. And they come one at a time because they don't hear it. So that the whole silence ability of this gun really adds some flavor to it. And this gun's also better fired from the hip. That laser gun is not good from the hip. And the best thing is it does reload quicker. And its accuracy is much better when it comes down to control. Look at that. Didn't even get close. Now you might say, oh, well, you took too long to, to fire the second shot to get the other one's attention. Let's do it quicker and see if we can get both of their attentions right away. Because what we'll do is we'll cheat. We'll use this gun. Because this is the gun that gets their attention right away. And then we'll switch to the spray and pray. Easy, Tiger. Not everything See, so here they both come. Okay, now we switch to the spray and pray. If she'll pull it out quick enough. Come on, girl. There we go. Another one should be over there somewhere. Easy as pie. And the crazy bit is I still haven't maxed out my perk in that area, I can still add one more to Commando, which would give me another, an extra 20% damage and better hit firing accuracy because I've got two in Commando. So I'm heavily considering putting a perk point there. The only reason I haven't yet is I want to add one more to Ninja, which is, you know, I, as well as uh, one more to Rifleman. And I don't want to be wasting too many of these perks right away because I still got a lot of crap I need to get on strength and all that other stuff because I want. Uh, I think it was. I still want steady aim, which is still um still a ways off. And also, you know, perks go, perks come, and perks go kind of quickly. Well, that gives you an that kind of gives you an update on where I am uh, gun wise. So I'm seriously considering retiring this gun because its only purpose was close range combat, and it's it's, it's the spray and pray still kind of killing it. And it's a silenced weapon. So, and I'm going to be adding a new weapon to my arsenal. This electrified Chinese sword. I got this a while ago, right after I, literally right after I got the shish kebab. And it seems as though that uh, this weapon outdoes the shish kebab. And at the same time, um, I think it weighs less. So uh, this is going to now be, I'm, I'm stealthy enough that I can actually get people from behind, even while, you know, 
I'm walking around. They won't hear me. They won't even hear it coming. So, uh, I think I'm in the middle of doing a quest. So, I don't think I'm capable of leaving here right just yet. But, um, that's, that's the lowdown on what's going on right now. Um, I'm probably not going to do anything this episode, only because, uh, I don't want to, you know, I wasted too much time talking. But this will just be, this is just an, an episode to give you an update on what's changed since the last time you saw me play, because it, it can be kind of boring to, to to watch what I was doing before. I didn't want to have to put you guys through all of that. But I th think I have a timed mission. I think it was Sunny, something about Sunny Sights. Let me uh, check the map and see if they're in trouble or something. That's where they want me to go to save them from the super mutants. Okay, so that'll probably be my next mission. Once we uh, come back next time, we're going to be going and rescuing these guys from the super mutants at that factory. So um, until next time, stay safe in the wasteland. And um, be prepared for the next episode because this is these guns are serious, and I'm going to do some serious damage with them. And also, now that I've got Deacon's perk, his days are numbered. I am going to be traveling solo very soon. I am definitely tired of having companions with me, and this you'll start to see how I do things solo. At least until I need to get Paladin Dance, he'll be my next acquirement. But I have to do some story missions first. But um, that's the update. I uh, hope you liked the video, and. Uh, Please, you know, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time in Adventures in the Wasteland.